Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today I am continuing this, uh, this rift series. Um, I mean, I, I actually played a little bit more on, uh, on Saturday after my video, but, um, so I'm basically now I'm at 66 and almost 67. I'm basically a bar and a, a bar and a third, sorry, two thirds, a bar and two thirds from 67. So as you can see, I'm 66 here. Uh, hang on, you may not be able to see because... Uh, da, 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 da. Where is the cursor thing? Mm-hmm. I don't know where it is. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so, um, yes, so I'm continuing to play Rift. I am in currently in Gedlo Badlands, so I've got mm, a good part of the map discovered, and now I'm continuing like carnages. Carnages are basically like the the kind of uh, quests that you pick up along the way, where uh, where for example, if you kill one of these things, then it makes you continue to kill. In this case, twelve, eleven more. Sorry, um, for a total of twelve. Um, this one. You can use this projectile. Oh, uh oh. Well, hello. I gotta kill this guy. <laughs> How convenient. So yeah, I continued playing a little bit just to uh, just to get a feel for the game a little bit more, and I'm I'm really enjoying it. I can't I can't deny it. Like, Rift was my first game that I played, and I have a love hate relationship with it, but at the same time, it's still very dear to my heart. What do I do with this? Use projectile instantly thingy. Uh-huh. Can I do it without... Can I do it without having to... Oh, I don't even have to DPS them at all. I just need to, like, pew to throw it at them. Projectile by explosive. This is the um, the graphics for the mage storm color abilities. FYI. So now I'm um, basically carnages are kind of the 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 you know the kill quests that you do along the way. So you don't have to do them. They definitely help for your progression for sure. Um, like each time that you finish, uh, you get a little bit more of a, a little bit more XP. But um, if you're new to the game, basically the way that you uh, progress through your um, this Catherine. Oh, I still have a lot of carnages in Catherin. But the way that you um, that you mostly level up through a zone is with these story quests. These are the important quests that give you gear, and they're also the ones that give you the most XP. So you see here it says XP 4,000, uh, 4 million, sorry, uh, 343,850, which is more than, say, for example, this normal quest, which gives you 1 million. And then these um, onslaughts are also a little bit more XP. But Living Flames, these carnages, basically they give you 1,000 as well. So basically, the way that you want to, and it shows you here, um, it shows you in the uh, lo quest log, it shows you story here. This is a daily, this is a daily, but this is the bread and butter of progressing, uh, of leveling through zones in Rift. So just as, this is part of my story quest, by the way. So it's just uh, results oriented. No, it's not. Never mind. It's not. Um, but this is. So talking to Emma, which is where I'm going right now. So this little um, dialogue icon is basically part of my story quest right there. <clears throat> basically, it's talk to this person, blah, blah, blah. But along the way, you can do whatever else. And that is going to give you this little, uh, what is it called? Um, what is this called again? treasure alert. So basically this is a treasure that you get and you finish your quest, you get 1 million XP, you get a little bit of platinum and you're happy. 
Uh, so now I'm going to go and talk to Emma, who is a, oh, oh, hello, made some friends. The reason why I enjoy Rift so much is because, you know, you look at all these numbers on your screen and you're just like, yeah, I feel so good about this. So there is that. There's also the fact that all of your, you know, your soul trees are huge and you get to pick and choose what you want. Like here I chose Soldier's Might. It increases my strength by 10%. But some people might want to increase their breaking blow damage. So basically you could say like, oh, I want to have Shatter and I want to have increases the damage of attacks that generate attack points by 2%. So you can create as much of a hybrid as you want. Uh, most of my specs are not hybrids, though. Like this is my Tempest. Uh, sorry, this is my Reaver. Um, my Champ is 61 as well. Um, Champion is AoE. Rift Blade. I've got Rift Blade, which is a 61 spec as well. Um, I've got this really shitty spec. I never really got to change it, but it's basically a sort of Paragon, but survival with um, Champion and Tempest. I don't know. I don't even know if it's actually viable anymore. This is my Void Knight tank, 61 spe 61 points as well. Um, I've got Beastmaster, which is uh, this is my only hybrid actually. Beastmaster is like a mixture of support and dot. Uh, now most people don't recommend this because Beastmaster is a melee class, but the thing is, is that this little thing, Fierce Strike, is why people would bring Beastmasters. It's, um, is this it? Da -da 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 -da. Cannot critically hit. What? Wait, hang on. Where is the purge? Mm hmm. Ah, there we go. Abolition. Your fear strike has a hundred percent chance to remove one buff from the enemy. So basically, this thing here is a buff remover. It was very useful for certain boss fights, and some people actually like Beastmaster wasn't a very popular spec at all. But some people actually swore by bringing a Beastmaster only because they wanted to remove buffs uh, from bosses or um, from Let's say you are doing PvP, it's actually pretty useful to have a Beastmaster because then people have like zero buffs here. So that is my only um, hybrid spec, I believe. Uh, this is Reaver and this is uh, Tempest Reaver. Yeah, so basically my Beastmaster is my only hybrid spec. But I mean, people, I think especially nowadays with um, Starfall Prophecy, they introduced the concept of hybridity a lot more now. Uh, because in the past, the thing was that um, hybrid specs, like the, the Tryon team, like basically made hybrid specs like absolute shit for some reason they didn't like hybridity anymore which was one of the main selling points for rift in the beginning but anyhow this is all in the past so you know we're living in a post-dragon reality here in the gedlo badlands yes i do once everything in the plane was ruled by melforge dragon of hate chaos and malice he was god of this realm with unlimited power he used this power to get everyone to fight this is why we can't have cities so, when I read the prophecy that some goblin would drink his blood and gain some small aspect of his power, of his power, well, I threw it in the oasis. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Alright, so here comes the time for some fucking fucked up visions. I will show you something absolutely amazing. Here. <laughs> I'm seeing shit everywhere. Well, oh, this basically is the only thing I see. The dancing fucking person. But um, in some of the lakes, you see like even more fucked up shit, like some unicorns or actually really weird, weird, weird stuff. But it's cool. I like it. Makes the game a little bit interesting with all these visions and prophecies and stuff like that. <laughs> Can you actually see more stuff here? Yeah, so you see like this dra this dragon being and then 
this dancing Elsbeth. I think it's Elsbeth. No, it's not Elsbeth. Uh, I don't even know who this is. And then you see like more fucked up shits elsewhere, right? You see the, like this dancing person here. Ah, uh, what else? That's it. That's all I see. Suddenly I see. Oh, more shit. No? Okay, well, anyways, you don't see any unicorns here, but in other lakes, you see, like, fucked up unicorns. And Anyway, so Gedlo Badlands is really big on prophecies and weird visions, so here we go. Up. All right, where do I go now? So, whoops. Um, do I go back home? Undo the Gedlo Grail prophecy. Where's the Gedlo Grail prophecy? Oh, is it right? Right. Okay, yeah, and I have followers that are talking and stuff like that. It's actually pretty cool some of the conversations they have together because, like, uh, Cyril is one of the big heroes in Rift, um, Guardian hero, and then Beist is one of the uh, newer, um, the the people from this land. So basically, like, Cyril is learning about this land through Beist, and it's cute. It's cute, some of the stuff they talk about. Uh, do I need to do anything more? No. I have mail. Oh my god. Do I still have the ability to get mail uh, remotely? Hang on. I will sell some gray shit, though. This is uh, good for me. Not 67 yet, so I can't equip shit. Oh, it's not even for me anyways. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's empty. It's good. Uh... Dismiss. Go away. Oh, hello. Are you one of them too? Oh, no, you're just a normal fire elemental. Yay! Okay, and I need to rebuff because my buffs are running out soon, I think. Okay. Hey, somebody's walking over water. I'm jealous. This is a uh, elite for level 70, so I will not touch him with a 10-foot pole. At all. That shit ain't good for me. It'll kill me quite quickly. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, hey, there's a bunch of quests there. I guess I'll get there soon enough. Anywho. I'm guessing it's a quest hub. Whee! One thing I really like about Rift is how much jumping you can do. Um, when the game first launched, you did get fall damage, but um, at some point, I think it was around, oh hey, I think it was around Storm Legion, uh, just before Storm Legion, basically, like, they decided to do away with fall damage, so, okay. Hey. Oh, hey, he's huge now. Whoa, whoa. That was a bit of lag there. Hmm. Hey, 
I interrupted you, fucker. That's a long boss fight, this. Nope. Yeah, one thing I have noticed is how um, there's quite a bit of lag between your ability hit, like... Uh, between you pushing your ability and it actually landing. Um, I think there used to be a bit of lag, but not quite as bad as this. So I'm a bit disappointed because of that. But otherwise, otherwise I'm kind of enjoying, I'm not kind, I'm quite enjoying this new content. Um, and I think it's interesting. This, guys, is a rift. And um, I'm not going to do one right now, but it's, this is basically like dynamic content. As you can see, there is these, um, these rifts here. This is a tear. Uh, basically, this is where you would go and hit your... Um, where is it? Do I have one here? No, I don't. It would be in my abilities. Um, ascended powers. Then... Where is it? Under sleep, blah 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 This okay so lures so this is where you would basically like this is a random lure that you could start um the and these are specific ones that you can uh that you can summon so this is an air lure and then you can also have major air lure so death lure and you can have a major death lure here and then earth lore, and you can have a major earth lore right there, and so on, so on and so forth. But this is basically the random summon ability, which is cool. Um, I'm not going to run a rift right now because I know I have done one um, this weekend, and it was actually <laughs> overpowered for me. Especially for soloing, especially when you're leveling, the, 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 the rifts are a little bit hard. And I mean that's good. That's very good for people who uh who do either want to um to challenge themselves or if they run content uh in groups, that's great. But otherwise it's kind of difficult, I'm gonna say that. And this is me with like a survival paragon. Um this is like my survival ability buffs right there. So here cannot be knocked back and takes five percent less damage, and then this is like follow up attack seal the paragon. Uh, these are my two DPS buffs. When hitting an enemy with a follow-up attack or reaping harvest deals an additional blah 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 and then increases physical crit by 3%. So these are DPS buffs and this is my uh, survival buffs. So like open world content buffs basically in, in this situation right here. If I was doing a dungeon I'd be using my DPF, DPS buffs. <clears throat> oh hey I see you spider. Spider asshole. <laughs> then there is the horses of the apocalypse. Just bits and pieces mostly. Vague references to these four horses leading the cosmos ending event. What exactly they are has been debated by our camp for centuries. Then I find this prophecy that says one of the horses will reveal themselves today and be seen by the instrument of the apocalypse. Well, first I threw it into the oasis. Then I went through the st stages of grief. All at once. I'm good now, knowing everything is going to end. How defeatist of you. And into the water we go. Whee! He's, he just keeps throwing pages into the water. It's pretty funny.
Mm-hmm. By Thedior, this will be the worst one yet. Will it? I don't know. I think they're all pretty bad. We face off against a horse. Whee! This is my racial, by the way. I get to fly, mighty leap. This is the bomby uh, racial. I love it. I mean, I don't use it a lot. Um. Okay, so where do we go? This is the map. Oh, we go here. Okay. I mean, when the land is like yellow, it's hard to see these markers, but uh, otherwise, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. I tend to like run to quests with my map open sometimes. I'm funny. Okay, so here we're going to see some crazy shit again. We. Yep. Oh, hello. What do I do? Undo the horse of the apocalypse prophecy. Oh, hello. There's the horse. Fuck. <sighs> hey, Thon. Let's do it. You and me. Oh, great. There's a unicorn! Oh my god, and a dragon! Okay, he's getting annoying, this horse. Come on. Let's kill him already. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. There's a tower. She fucking freaks me out. Goodbye. Unicorn! Let's get out of here. Fuck this water. <laughs> All right, let's go back to that uh, prophecy giver. I like this mount. He's so cool. I think he was part of um, an event reward. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, no, wait. He was... Um... Shit, it's like the tower... What's it called? Uh... Nope. Where are the... Oops, that's not what I want. Slater boards? No, I would... I want... Uh, achievements, there we go. H. It was... What was it? What was it? Was it a dungeon? It wasn't a dungeon. It was like a... <sighs> It's sort of like a dungeon, but not really. Planes? That might have been it. Strong stronghold? Here in stronghold. No, it wasn't a stronghold. Fire? Fire is John. 
Blood fire. Oh shit! It was a blood fire. I have to. I have to Google that shit. Okay. Rift. Blood fire. It's a blood fire stronghold. Okay. It was a blood fire stronghold. Blood fire strong. Yeah. There we go. Can be acquired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was it. So there's like these sort of dungeons called Bloodfire Strongholds. They're basically, um, whoops. How can I show you like, uh, entire world? No. Damn it. This is not what I want to see. Um, if you go like, uh, your main map. No. Um, Anyway, so basically, if you go to uh, your Defiant starter place called Meridian, there's like there's a Bloodfire stronghold right outside of Meridian, and same for Sanctum, the place for the for the Guardians. And basically, these Bloodfire strongholds they um they what do you call it? They scale. They scale to your to your level, to your group's level. So basically, you can start doing these at like level fifteen. And it will give you like level 15 loot. And you can do these at level 50, at level 60. I don't think you can do it, like, I don't think there's level 65 strongholds. But they, they're they basically like dungeons. And they're pretty quick too. And they're pretty difficult. They're pretty difficult. I mean, the, the damage is pretty uh, rough sometimes. <clears throat> Shut up. Is this where I need to go? Yeah. You did it! I'm like, maybe we are doomed. We'll head straight back to St. Tyrannus. Tanaris. <laughs> right after we clean up all the stuff we threw in the oasis. If we are going to live and all the creation will continue, we shouldn't junk it up. Right? Alright, so do your part. Be nice. Right? Okay, so I need to go, whoops, sorry. I need to go right back to that place. I wish I had a whistle. <laughs> That's like one of the cool things about um, Legion and WoW um, is basically like you, you get to like summon up your amount to take you to the nearest pub. Oh, wait, yeah, I need to do that. Dismiss! Ha ha! Uh, this is one, two. Let's go. Come here. Come here, you little fuck. You too. Dismiss. Aha. You too. Gonna need to dismiss you too. Dismiss. You guys are welcome to read this text here in the in the chat box. I mean, this is basically like my two followers talking. It's cool. I just don't really have the uh, will to read all of it out loud. I might read it back when I'm like rewatching my videos and stuff, but um, at this moment, not really. Because, um, but it does give quite a bit of, like, lore information and, uh, like, what's going on in the world. And basically, that's how I found out. I remember, well, I mean, I remember doing the quest where Taswil died, the original Taswil. I remember doing that quest, but I didn't remember it until it said so in the uh, chat here. Like the the characters were talking and stuff like like the new Toswill and Shyla were talking and said like, oh uh you know the original Toswill your namesake blah 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 and I was like what oh my god that's true he died yes so Toswill dies I'm sorry I'm sorry for you know totally spoiling you guys but basically yeah Toswill dies aha. Just gonna try to finish these enraged flame things. Aha. And one more. Need one more. 
What's great in Rift is uh, when you're, even if you're in combat, you can still mount as long as you don't get hit. So if like you dismiss stuff, you can still mount. You won? No. You won? No. <laughs> hmm. Are you one? Yeah. I love charging. <laughs> As you can see, I'm always charging mobs. Yay! St. Tyrannus. Huzzah. Now we go there. Now we go to the Soulmender. I don't need to end my soul. That's another great thing about Rift is you don't like in WoW, even if you're if you even if you haven't died, your um your armor still takes damage. But here basically it's only when you die that you take damage um for your for your um Basically, here it's called your soul, soul. What's it called? Um, soul mending. Basically, is what you do when you heal up. Um, but in WoW, it's basically like, oh, um, you took some damage. Uh, your armor is a little bit broken after you fought this boss. Blah blah blah. So basically, throughout a raid, even if you don't die, you still take damage, and it it kind of pisses me off because it's like. Dude, I mean, I didn't die. I did everything right, and I, st like, I mean, I took damage because that's, that's a raid. But, you know, for them, it's basically like, oh, well, you took some damage. Your armor's a little bit broken. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> Especially after coming from WoW, where it was like, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't take damage. You don't die. You're fine. Whatever. Big differences between some games, you know. Oopsie. Oopsie. No? Okay, good. But yeah, I wish I had a whistle so I could just say, like, Wee! I get to the St. Tyrannus right away! Or I could fly. I, I wish I could fly in this game too. A lot of people wish they could fly in Rift, but um, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Um, yeah. Oh, am I done with this zone already? Like, it says this is done. What? I didn't do half the stuff in this zone. Well, I mean, I did, but I did like three quarters of the zone, basically. All right, camp inevitability. Oh, what is this word? Inevitability. Inevitability. There we go. Is back in Saint Tyrannus. Once more, we hear the arguments of a textual inter interpretations of vaguely worded, intentionally misleading text. But now, thanks to you, if we don't like it, we can just destroy it all. Now, the banished goddess and the oracle can learn what it is like to not know what tomorrow will bring. You do not think that this curious and infuriating ability you possess was the reason that Aya turned from the rest of the vigil and now seeks to eradicate your kind from the cosmos? I know I am not overly fond of Jorgen, that pup who takes joy in defacing my sand paintings. Eh, well, a mystery for later. And, um, usually this is the stuff for me. Yeah, so this is the stuff for me, but it's not really a upgrade for me. So what I can do... I can look. I think these are basically re rehashed uh, gear content. Yeah, this is this is definitely rehashed. This is from Storm Legion. This helmet. This is cool though. I like that. I've already collected. Oh, that's right. Okay, so basically, I have to collect this one, which I already have anyways. Fuck this. Vase wants you to search the hatching grounds and rescue the dragon slayers with them. Oh, minion time. Okay. Now, where do I go? I go back there. Fuck! Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop it here. So, I'll see you next time.